Welcome back to Vampire. Remember these two odd brothers? Remember how they walked in here? And by the way, there's an invisible wall here I can't go through. Dang it. Remember how they walked in here, sat down, started talking, and then just suddenly stopped and then left? Let's see if they finish their conversation this time. Perfect synchronicity. I can't believe we are still waiting here. I can't remember the moment when... No! I'll never know what they are going to say. I think the conversation got maybe like a second further than it did before, though. Oh, hey. I doubt. Alright, so, yeah. Uh, welcome back to Vampire. We're just exploring... I'm just going to call this the Temple District. I don't know if it is its own... I don't think it is its own district. It's part of West End, I suppose. But it feels separate. So let's continue exploring this area. Hey, they have a picture of my father on the wall. Hold on, where does that go? Oh, there is a street on the other side. Let's analyze this thick, brisk blood sample that we got from fighting that... Vocod? Vocaloid? Remember when we fought that Miku? Highest level of stamina. I haven't been using stamina serums very often. Really only relevant for long fights, where I have to do a lot of physical damage. For the most part. I mean, it does help with dodging as well. Uh, but yeah, let's make some more serums. Before I get to that, though, I'll do that off camera. But uh, I was looking at all my weapons, thinking I couldn't upgrade anything, because everything's level 4. All my main weapons. And while that's true for my melee weapons, I still need more handle parts. I need three more good handle parts for the hacksaw. And for this, I need six more tiny good handle parts. However, I can upgrade Milton's shotgun. Turns out I've got a crap ton of good trigger parts. So we can get the final level of shotgun. We're going up from 493 damage to 634. God, that is so much. Right, I'm still waiting for the phosphorus. Oh, at some point I got one white phosphorus. I don't even know where. But I need four more to get this. Hope I can do that before the end of the game. What do we have here? Takes rivets. Increases damage by 10%. Oh, they both take rivet rivets. Gotta keep an eye out for those. You know, while we're at it, I might as well upgrade my revolver, right? Which is actually only level 3, so let's get it up to level 4. Remarkable revolver. Everybody will remark upon it when they see it. From 82 to 114 damage. Pretty good increase. And then let's also get the damage increase as well, the 10%. I actually don't have the ingredients to make any regeneration serums except for one of the light regeneration serums, but I don't even think that's worth making. I got plenty of all the ingredients except for the watery, sturdy blood samples. I've only got one of those. And I loot everything. Let's continue to explore around the back of the temple. Or maybe, maybe it's the front over this way, actually. I still haven't found the front entrance. Is this the entrance? Do you go beneath the temple to get in? Whoa. Excuse me, are there traps in the temple? Why are there pressure plates in the temple? And why do some of those pressure plates look like they're scorched? Is that a visual bug, or are they actually scorched? Huh. It's locked. Again? What are the guards trying to tell us? I'm just going to take their reading material out from their noses. The crime of lost knowledge. The vampires are dangerous, deadly, vicious sometimes. This is a fact, and I won't deny it. And that's precisely why we must understand what they are, sometimes who they are, in order to achieve a better mutual understanding. 
Do you remember the interview with Titus Flavius Josephus, conducted by one of us in 1548, when he finally encountered the creature in Spain? Do you remember how each of the very carefully chosen words expressed by this vampire warmed our heart each time we read them? For they were all extraordinary windows to a past of which we only have glimpses. Well, Titus Flavius Josephus is no more, since the Vatican's hunters destroyed him a few weeks ago. And with him vanishes unearthed treasures of knowledge about the pillars of our civilization. This is a crime probably as heartbreaking as the killing of an innocent life by a vampire. This is exactly why the path of the Guard of Prewin is as criminal as it is barren. For each time they successfully conduct one of their methodical hunts on the old vampires of England, instead of carefully and respectfully re approaching them, they destroy a part of our common roots with the immortals. They wipe an opportunity. The concept of great hunt is a crime for it blindly kills words and thoughts. From Drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher Talltree. Yeah, that's something I hadn't considered, is that vampires, the ones that have been alive for a very long time, can live for, well, a very, very long time. I haven't actually heard any concrete ages. At least hundreds of years, possibly thousands of years. And if so, then yeah, they are one of the most extraordinary sources of historical knowledge you can possibly have. Because when you study the far past where nobody can, nobody who's currently living was ever alive back then, the only thing you have are secondary sources, right? Because you can't interview the people that actually experienced them, so you need writings or, well, hundreds of years ago, hundreds of years ago, it wouldn't be pictures, but writings and, well, mostly writings, I guess? And other, like, physical artifacts that indicate what happened? But someone who's lived hundreds or thousands of years, you have a primary source. Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. You know my name? The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Oh! Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they tell me everything. They told me that you struggle hard not to take too many lives. That's true. I just kind of assumed that Usher Taltry, because I'm reading them in all these texts, I just assumed they were like a historical figure from, I don't know, 100 years ago or something. I wasn't thinking they're not only alive, but they're here. It's really interesting. <laughs> not surprisingly, they're a very high level and worth a lot of XP. Who the hell would eat Usher Taltry, though? Do you require them? I'm fat. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? The vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. All right. All right. Let me hear it. The walls of your prison have already been raised, Jonathan. But you will freely accept to be locked inside, full of hope for a better day. That's it? Okay, thanks. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Is that 
true. I mean, we read in one of the bits of lore that the reason they were split is because they, they did have a disagreement, but specifically they had a disagreement about what to do about vampires. There was the more uh, cultish sect, the uh, Guard of Prewin, that wanted to just completely eliminate them. And then there were these people, Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, that didn't. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate, and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. That's right. One of the really, really, really early bits of lore I think we read was about some sort of, like, ritual or something that they performed on vampires to control them or kill them or something, right? Something about a dragon or something? I forgot what it was actually called. But I wonder if that's what they're talking about. Taking steps to eliminate the most dangerous ones. Or control them, at least. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. It's interesting that Usher Talltree and the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, which I always thought of as very scholarly, and I suppose they are, but it's interesting that they also have a sort of mystical bent to them, what with card reading and all that. Read my fortune. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being. So powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. <laughs> if I find it, I'm totally gonna read it. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Okay. Here is the money. The sorceress. A heart-shaped trap built to entangle a loved one. Mirrors on every wall to see her own reflection constantly. Carol... Carol Price? Carolyn Price? Who are those people? Apparently those are hints I can use, though. Price. Hmm. Can you read more cards? Can you read the card? Put the money on the table. Can I just pay again? <laughs> it's blacked out, though, so I don't think it would do anything new. Perhaps late. How do you measure the amount? Oh, we already did that. 
I would rather... How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus-pocus parlor tricks. The truth! Now! Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. Mary did not deserve her fate. She had already suffered enough during her life. And yet the pain and the suffering went on after her death. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. Some prefer to lose their minds rather than face the simple truth. Pain will never stop. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. The Fool and the Empress, again. What are the cards trying to tell us? Amuses me to converse with your kind. Strange. I don't feel like they actually respect me. It amuses me to converse with your kind. Like, that's that's not something you say to somebody who you respect. Alright, there's obviously something to this. I see... Two blank walls that could be doors that could open. There's probably a certain combination. If you press these in the right order, one or both of them will open, is my guess. Where could the password be, though? Could be in the journal that I'm gonna find. Could be, I don't know, on the Red wall or something. River, a song in the dark. Suppose it also could be that four people need to stand on them simultaneously. Either way, I don't think I can do anything with it now. Right, well that's all of this area, so let's let's go check out this area. And I wonder about these. They look all open, but I don't see any way to reach them. Maybe they're nothing. Enemies. The hell is that? Oh, probably somebody pounding on the door. Prewin Chaplet, whoa, they look heavy. They got like a murder mask on. But first, what's up here? Nice. That's the drops I want. Let me upgrade my melee weapons. Best turn around if I were you. Highly resistant to shadow damage. Said, stay away, sir. Stay there. I need to kill. No, no, no. I need to kill this person. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, I'm using shadow damage against him. Not a good idea. Stay back. on heading this way to Whitechapel. Oh, this must be the gate to Whitechapel that I couldn't open from the other side. Yes! So many shortcuts unlocked. Nice. Well, I do need sturdy, watery blood samples or whatever. I don't know if these enemies have it, but I'm just gonna go for it. I think that's pretty much it for this area. However, there's something that I almost missed. The prices. Carolyn Price and Carol Price. We got hints about both of them from Usher Talltree. Yeah, I didn't even realize I could go in there. It's just while I was running past, I heard one of them say, like, something, something, sir. And, uh, yeah, nothing on the map that I could see. Price's shop. Look like you've been picked clean. Dr. Reed, I am glad to see you again. Again? They knew us before we were vampired. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Do you have anything for sale? There's nothing in the display cases. Do you think the Price is a last name is a reference to uh, Chloe Price and the Price family from Life is Strange? It probably is. They've had so many references. They've had the plant, now Price. They've had the Caulfield Pharmacy. Oh, they have fatigue. I can help you with that. Do you need my... Oh. I'm... Do you often hurt Carol? Wait, I'm sorry, that's one. Of, that's what I got from one of the hints? From Usher Daltrey? What did Usher Daltrey say? Nothing that I thought suggested abuse. Something about a... person who always stares at themselves in the mirrors? Huh. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. Well, before we do that, let's do the other options. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. What? Me? Changed a lot? I... No. I haven't changed at all. Just have an eye infection. In both eyes. Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war. And the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser. 
more serious. It suits you well. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. Okay, they obviously really like me. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. I don't know if I want to launch this on them just yet. I feel like I should talk with Carol first. Also, let's see what they sell. May I look at your goods? It's all... Ooh, rivets. I should definitely buy those because I've only got a couple. It's really strange. By strange, I mean it's nonsensical. This shop has all the looks of maybe a place that sells jewelry or some sort of like fine things like that with all those display cases. And yet what they seem to actually sell is basically just everything. They sell just a little bit of everything. They sell the game items that you need to play the game. Like the stuff people sell doesn't seem to match who they are at all. They sell everything from grease to screws to rivets to chemi raw chemical ingredients, aluminum powders, and just... It doesn't make the slightest bit of sense. Hmm, I was gonna go speak with Carol, but I don't think I can. This is the only door and it's locked. It's locked. I hope you can stay a little longer. Is there no, like, upper balcony I can get to? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I guess we'll launch the big question on Carolyn. But not before we loot this. Good evening. You Tell me, Carolyn. Do you often wound or hurt your daughter by mistake? No. I always thought it was Carol's clumsiness that caused these incidents. Maybe it's a family trait, Doctor. You really believe it's just bad luck and being clumsy, then? Of course, Doctor. What else could it be? I have nothing to hide. That's extremely suspicious. Uh, what else can I do? Can't seem to talk about anything else. Uh, we can finish this conversation topic. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Goodbye for now. I hope you can stay a little longer this time. So they offered for me to talk with them. I would love that, but how? I cannot enter. Yeah, can't seem to find any other way in there. Went all around the building, trying to see if there's any other doors I could open, but doesn't seem like it. Guess I'll come back there later. So I'm on my way to over here to do the Pandora's Box quest, looking for that journal, Lost by Usher Talltree. And I'm just right here, which is where we fought that strong vampire who had kept that person captive inside of that building over there. And I found a new building that I'd never been inside of. Fresh water. As long as it's not holy water, I may find some use for it. <gasps> That's for the plant! I can finally water the plant back at the hospital! It must be. I know at one point I was searching for something related to this game, I don't remember what, and I think I saw like a, a guy that said like, how to get the super rare achievement watering the plant. That's what made me think, oh, so it's there's some way to actually do it. It's possible. So that's got to be it. It's got to be. I wonder what it says. Is there any, like, hint on it? Pure water, good for plants, not for vampire. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to water that plant. Yeah, that is very easy to miss. There is nothing in particular that suggests that you can go in here. It's just because I was running this way and I saw that, that little circle on the door. Ah. Oops, I didn't mean to scare anybody. Didn't mean to take that out. 
Remember, I went up here, and I think there was a locked will door up there. At a more convenient time. What? Does that mean I can't do the quest yet? Balls! It's locked. I think it's about time to finally just do the main quest. That's the feeling I get, is that pretty much everything else is kind of waiting for me to progress with the main quest. To meet the Ascalon Club's leader. Something Redgrave. I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, though. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head to the Ascalon Club. <laughs>